CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.4. Given a scenario, configure basic mobile device network connectivity and application support. GSM versus CDMA. In the previous video, we discussed cellular connectivity, exploring how our mobile devices keep us connected on the go. Building upon that foundation, this video will pivot our discussion to two prevalent types of cellular networks that you might encounter, GSM and CDMA. These acronyms might sound technical, but they're simply different methods of achieving the same goal, keeping you connected with the world, whether you're making a call or browsing the internet. First up, I will define GSM or Global System for Mobile Communications. This is a standard that defines protocols for digital cellular networks used by mobile phones and other devices. Introduced in 1991, GSM is a widely used mobile network technology known the world over, hence GLOBAL is in the acronym. It standardized network communication and facilitated international roaming agreements between mobile device carriers, enabling users to use their mobile device in various parts of the world. GSM networks utilize a SIM card or subscriber identity module card to identify the user to the network, allowing them to switch devices simply by moving the SIM card to a new device. As for CDMA, or Code Division Multiple Access, this digital cellular technology uses spread spectrum radio communications. Without getting too technical, CDMA is like having a personalized path from your mobile device straight to the network tower. With CDMA, your identity is tied to your device, making it the linchpin of your service. This approach has traditionally meant that changing devices would require assistance from your service carrier. While popular in the United States, CDMA has a legacy of providing robust service, especially in less populated areas. For you, as you prepare for the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 certification exam, remember GSM is noted for its flexibility, enabled by the use of SIM cards that facilitate easy device switching and international roaming, while CDMA is recognized for its robust network stability and wide coverage area, which is particularly advantageous in rural locations, though switching devices can be a bit more complex. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.